Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R GGPO extravaganza that we have been blessed upon us. Uh, my name is Sammy Fish, and with me, the one and the only, the legend himself, the almighty Makoto Fox. How's it going, y'all? I would like you guys to know it's called LPX NYC Furby Third Impact. Because we've had three of these so far, so you know, third impact. We've had a third one. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad they didn't want to do one last week because it feels like there's a there's a plus R tournament every other day now, and I'm like, I'm tired, bro. <laughs> tired. Dude, people, that's the thing about Guilty Gear players, man. They go in hard on everything. It's yeah. Like, imagine if Exert had like GGPO. Exert had GGPO, we would never see the light of day ever again. We would be inside <laughs> for the rest of our lives, I mm -hmm. swear. At least I get to walk out every now and then, but no, these guys are running a tournament every week, which is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good. It's good for it's good for the community. Everybody's really enjoying playing the game and having fun, uh, except for people who are playing against May. They're not having a fun time. What about people who play Justice? Play, I mean, Justice players don't deserve rights, so it's fine. Whew. Who cares what they think? Whew. Spicy. <laughs> you can you can uh, throw your complaints down at that handle that you see there, uh, at Makoto Scrub. Please follow that guy and put all the complaints that way. I'm just gonna block you if you complain. <laughs> uh, like, like I'm not one of those people who are just like, yeah, man, I don't block people. I'm UP. Like, if I see something, if I see a stupid response, I immediately block. I don't even waste time. No, you gotta you gotta engage them and show how everybody <clears throat> is, uh, how you are smarter than them. And everyone. Hell no! Hell no! <laughs> yeah, see, this is the Especially problem with, just... uh, with Steam <laughs> usernames, you can just change them all the time. So we got Peter Porker and Gary the Hot Soup in the lobby, and I actually <laughs> don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna double check and confirm that those are our. Uh, the first player is here. Zacho Live is in chat saying that Peter Porker is in fact <laughs> Peter Porker. Peter Porker. Oh wait, do wait, do we need to actually have the client open by the way? I, just, I, just, I forgot how we do this already. Uh, I'm gonna stream to you. Okay. Right. Please thank you for reminding me. <laughs> no, I forgot that. Yes, Lunar Lunar Phase Live is in fact NYC based. Yeah, we've always been Always Save. been lunarphase.nyc. Makoto Fox is also NYC based. Yeah, that's why I'm so rude, apparently. <laughs> I live in New York. Rude. Okay, cool. So I, I guess that means that Gary the Hot Soup is the Sea Hill. <laughs> Me. You know, if you're going to play a tournament, at least like keep your name somewhat similar. Change your name, or do do what I do, which is you just put your name like in brackets afterwards, and then just delete it later. I mean, yeah, you could do that, I guess. Yeah. I guess that works. Either change your name for just the tournament, which is not a big deal at Steam, mm -hmm. or just put your like actual handle in in brackets. Because it makes it well, there's less guessing. There's less guessing. It's just easier for for um, tournament organizers. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Controls are all different than uh, last time. It was just... There we go. Oh yeah, they they updated the. Uh, yeah, they updated the buttons. Oh really? So there's there should be an auto pass now. Oh. That's. I don't problem. know how to get to it, but there should be an auto pass now. Uh, yeah. I think it's the toggle spectating button. So whatever your start is. Oh, I see. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, look the at that! All seeing eye. All right. Oh, fucking cool. Yeah, we can just jump right into this. Um, yeah. I've, I'll bring the bracket up after this match and we can take a look at it. Yeah, no problem. See where how uh, everything fits in. Okay. <clears throat> All right, it's been a little while since we've done this. <laughs> it's, only, like, it's only been like a week and a half, two like weeks. A week and a half, bro. Yeah. <laughs> in that duration of the time, we played. I would just say I played and more plus R. Oh right. Or. Oh, I guess the, uh, I guess Foxy did the the twenty five v twenty five. That was after. Oh yeah. yeah. Was that really like a week and a half ago? That was like a week and a half ago at this point. Good lord. Okay. All right. There was an update for Plus R yesterday, I believe. It was uh, either so yesterday or the day before. 
Yeah, either way, update your client. It's not too much different. They fixed some RNG bugs and stuff like that. Some desync issues. Uh, so it should be it should be slightly better than it was before. Eno testament. All right. Ugh. So I feel like Eno was gonna have a hard time because she has to fly through webs. She has to get through all the trees. Oh God, this is her first. Right. She's like always. She's note first in this game, which kind or in this uh, matchup, which kind of sucks because you never actually want to approach like that. But uh, once you get the knockdown, you just kind of have to like hopefully stay on top of him. And it's hard with testing because like he has a lot of buttons that just can test Eno you know, really well. Oh, that was an yeah. FRC. You don't see those every day. Damn. HCL FRCs. I think if you play Eno in this game, you you have some. You either have crazy execution or you have dedication. One of those two. Yeah, I mean, there's. If you don't absolutely love this character, I don't see why you 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 should play them. Honestly, this character is so so much work. Oh, he got his burst back, and he uses it poorly. No. He uses burst poorly. Peter Porker no longer from NY. That's moved all the way down to Los Angeles. <laughs> Uh, I think he did a Cali burst and an, and an Arturo burst within the same round. That's crazy. <laughs> That's wild. Damn, you hit both codes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's how good the GGPO is. You can, burst, <laughs> you can burst like a New Yorker and like a Cali burst in the same round. <laughs> hey, by the way, I didn't... Uh... I should have mentioned it for you too, but uh, mm. the players are, are C Hill on the player one side, and I'm Sacco gonna keep calling him player <laughs> Peter <two>. Porker. <laughs> he needs to not have that as his name. <laughs> Peter Porker is actually such a good name. Good lord, I wish Smash let you change your names. Smash GG. It would I be mean, nightmarish. It would be worse, technically worse for TOs. I but... mean, you can change it. They like decrease the amount of time you have to wait as well. Think. Wasn't it six months before? Um, yeah, I think it was six months and like no oh, months less Jesus. than that. I forget. Hmm. I gotta figure out how to do that. All right, so they swap sides. <clears throat> Should be C Hill on the right. Yep, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Chemical love. One hit a note. I need I need a Zaka to be like a little bit more active. Like, Testament's kind of the character that kind of always wants to be doing something. Like, right. you always have Nets and Hitomis to set up, right? Like, you always have, like, and if nothing's happening and the opponent's not doing anything, then you have the ability to set up, uh, fucking EXE Beasts. There's always some, should be something for you to do. Right now he's getting comboed. Yeah, he, the thing you're doing right now is eating a bunch of damage. That's, that's true. Is that super fully invincible? You can't throw him? I don't think so. But nice. I will check. I don't check. Or I will check him in. Oh, overhead, let's go. We got. Uh, uh, too far. It's fine, though. She's eating so much damage because of the, the super. Uh oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. oh, he had the meter. Yep. Is he gonna Cali burst again in the city? Yep. Oh, oh. oh no. he did it again. All right, he has to make it worth it though. If he takes the round, it's worth. He didn't know. He didn't die. He didn't know he died. There you go. Wow. That was in fact not worth. I mean, that's the maximum burst <laughs> of Ooh, that was a clean air throw. Nope, the warrant. The punish though. You can play the warrant in certain ranges. Yes. Uh. uh. Nice and crispy FRCs though. And then TK Badlands out of nowhere. <laughs> Tech Badlands. So get me out of here. Ah. All right, note again. Air throw. Pick him up. Is your air throw range smaller in this game? In this game? I think it's smaller, but you do get the wall bounce combo. Ooh, need to bring that back. Wall bounce combos for, uh, off air throws. Yeah, bring that back. Cause that's so cool. Like you're close enough I, to the corner. Womp. I really liked that too, actually. I can't, I can't say, I can't really ask for Kai to get anything in Exert because he always had the best stuff. Mm -hmm. But like, that was always, that was something that was really cool. Yeah, I'm not sure why they were just like, hey, you have to, you have to be like a certain height and a certain character in order for this to work. It's like, man, I just, I got my air throw, give it to me. Yeah, and, and on top of which, like, 
the characters that did have that early on were like super duper good. Like you might remember like Soul in the first parts of the game where it's like oh. just like yeah, he grabbed you out of the air, which I don't remember. Did did sign prorate throws? Uh sign. I think it did. I, I I think they did. I want to give them the benefit of the doubt and say yes. Because he's like Soul still did like a shit ton of damage off air throw. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he got air throw in the corner. You still got dust loops. I like how sign, uh, yeah, sign Soul or Exert Soul went from like what was it like top five to top five to top seven to like top probably top seven eight or something like that. Yeah. He like, he's such a good. strong character. Yeah. And then they nerfed 5k and the world came crouching down. Yeah, people don't remember that Soul, that Soul 5k in Rev 2 is now 5 frames, whereas he had a 5, he had a 3 frame 5k for almost 20 years. <laughs> and people were like, oh god, I can't play this character anymore, how do I anti-air consistently, oh! It's like, what? It's like... Two hit move that uh, is an incredible hitbox anti air. That, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But soul players are great. All right, let me take a look at this bracket. Uh, so, we're going to be having matches from pool two uh, mm -hmm. on the stream. If you're interested mm. in also watching matches from pool one, uh, definitely check out uh, our trio stream over at NYC Furby. I wonder who Towson plays in this game. I've only known him as a Undernight player. Yeah, I know he plays Ori. Yeah, exactly. So, like, who would you play in this game? If I played Ori, uh, I don't know, because it's really hard for people to have that same connection with a, uh, a, a arc, arc type character. <clears throat> yeah. So, like, the thing is, I try not to uh, stereotype people based on the type of characters they play from one game to another. Because sure, uh, it's that's pretty fair. Because like. Ori and from Undernight to an Ori-ish character in this game would probably be like, maybe Kai, maybe, but even oh, then I'd be like Kai doesn't do that like that that well. Yeah. Like you need a you need a, a I'm getting in move that's plus, like get, that gives me pressure. That's what you want because that's what Ori has. Yeah. Yep. All right. So so that match that we just watched, uh, Zako versus Sea Hill, over here on in uh, Winners Round One. Mm -hmm. We've also got uh, Digital Watches. Who I think Ooh. is uh, first seed for this pool. Uh, going down, you got yeah, that was uh, Thousand Fours versus Dindo. Happened. Um, hey. What other matches here? Uh, definitely, definitely, I think some names that I haven't seen before. But maybe that's just because the last brackets were humongous. But we do have our next match coming up here. The players already in the lobby. It's going to be. Uh, Sonic Spear versus Twilly. Okay. I think mm. Sonic Spear. Hmm, no, I can't. I don't want to say because I, I I half remember, but I don't want to say it. Because I've seen them play in a couple of tournaments already, and they've done okay. I think they've gotten like top sixteen, which is pretty good for some of the, like the hundred plus tournaments that we've had over the last month. Or right. So. Top sixteen is really good, especially considering like. The amount of like old cats that are coming out and playing this game again who have like like a ton of experience like some old school Please sort of legends i guess it's hard to say legends because this game never got like an incredible shine when these guys were at their best but like the the used to best people at this game yeah like within the within that time period in that in their uh in their era yeah because there's a lot of people you hear and you're like, oh, this person, yo, this person was a beast. And, which, and they're still a beast because, like, none of that really falls off. Yeah, it's like two uh, two weeks of, like, getting rid of Rust and especially Guilty Gear players just crank out games. So I'm sure, like, everybody who's, like, everybody who wants to play this game has taken all that Rust off already at this point. All right, Robokai Anji. I don't... I know Anji gets better combos, but Robokai just is heavy. Yeah. <laughs> But Robokai also is just like, hey, what's up? You did fusion and I, I hit you low? This sucks to be you, bro. Hey, free meter. Oh, more meter. Mm. Give me. Jeez, he built so much meter. Yeah, he got command thrown on top of the, uh, the mat. On top of so Matt, yeah. We got a crap ton. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Level two missiles. Uh, I have 100% meter. It's time to become a zoner. Oh, that was sick. Pussy knockdown. Uh, uh. Oh, I get some. Oh, 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 no. I think I felt like that was a missed input. Yeah, it's, it's usually like 5 H fusion. Yeah. To free. Mm hmm. Knockdown, that's it. Hey, 6 H. Yeah. FRC. 5 H. Uh, uh. Damn, that hurts. Dash, got the meter. Why, why does this character build so much meter so quickly? Because he, he actually needs it. No, he doesn't. He actually does. I know. Because like if it if it took him longer to build meter, I think he'd be worse. No, I don't think he's. Yeah, I don't he, think he's a bad character right now. No, but he's fine. But it's just like his uh, the rely his reliancy on hey, I need to have like level two, level three heat, and then I need to have this much meter so I could do this this with it is higher than I would normally expect. He's, for for the most part, uh, the character actually struggles to get meter, but in Sonic Spear is just doing really well and getting the hits, getting command grabs and stuff like that in order to get meter. It just looks busted when you do consistently get those hits and stuff like that, because if Robokai perpetually has meter like that, I don't think you can stop this character. No, he's just bro, that, he's that type of guy. Or type yeah, it's, of it's hard because like, yeah. Trades then become really not in your favor because you get stunned really quickly. Yeah, this character does so much damage. This character when he has so many tools, whether it be Oki zoning, uh, it just becomes everything becomes so much more difficult. Whew. Force breaks are insanely good. F right, good FRC that. points. Hey, wow, he still got the throw. That was sick. That's so far. Yeah, I know. Here, can I hey, run to five K. Let's go. Ah, yeah. That's a classic, man. Uh, Wait, wake up. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Crank out that TV. I'm not an Anji expert, so I don't know why that, like, Rin missed. It felt like it shouldn't have. Uh, 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 knockdown. Ooh, meeting missile. That was wild. Ah! He died. Dude, 5H FRC. <laughs> Doesn't it have like a large FRC point? It it's not that it's large, but it's like it's it's super easy to do because of how uh, how quick it is after the move. Mm. The only problem is like doing it on with versus on block. Like those are the the, the standard problems of like doing FRCs, right? It's not like a projectile. It's kind of weird if you do it on hit at with on block or on with. Okay. Get rid of some heat. Oh god. Alright, this goes for Matt. Oki. Hey, a little too early. He'll still unblock some for the command grab. Damn, knock that got down. a knockdown in there for Knockdown. Run it again. Oh, Delay yeah, pressure. Too. He's in like level 2 heat, yup. Yeah. There you go. That's how you do with Fujin. Mm -hmm. Unless he's willing to spend the meter for force break follow up, you're usually just trying to do like your most invuls follow up. You can you can still stuff her in, but uh, I mean force breaker in. But well, the the thing to do in those situations is to actually start doing stuff like Nagaha, uh, even on block when you have meter. So you just do Nagaha RC and like keep your pressure going, just to make sure to let them know like, hey, I'm going to do the the fast version this time. Like right, it, like you can't always just get like sort of react to Rin. Right, right, because right. I know a lot of people. Within like the last two weeks, we're just, um, hey, how do I fight Anji? Anji's kind of wild. I'm not sure what's going on here. And it's like, you just need to do a little bit of training mode. Like, go into training mode, record the options he has, and then figure yeah. out, like, okay, if he does this, I could do this. If he does this, I could do this. Or you can ask someone who plays Anji, like, hey, how do I stop this? And they'll tell you, like, hey, I have auto guard and I have high, well, I have mid and low auto guards. This is how you stop them. You have to meet it correctly in a certain way. And everything's a gamble for the most part. Yeah, I mean, Xer kind of did away with a lot of those styles of characters, right? Where characters like Biken also kind of got changed away from that style, where almost everything becomes like a toss-up, right? The mm -hmm. your Oki becomes a toss-up, uh, your uh, your wake-up pressure becomes a toss-up. Your knockdowns are not as valued as they are in other characters. And so, like, when you play characters like that, they sort of change the way you have to, like, approach games. And it's, mm -hmm. I 
feel like a lot of those characters got removed from the previous game. I'm trying to remember, like, which characters made you feel like you did not have the same tools you had versus other characters? If you didn't, like, let's say, have just, like, a, a wake-up DP or something like that. Uh, I like, think most characters kept their... If they had the options, they kept it. Uh, like, other than backdash cancels with Slayer, like, which characters felt like you had to do... You had to change your Oki pressure outside of just a DP? Um... I think it's still biking and Exert. Because it goes from a... It, it went from a guard point to a stance. Which you can just do on wake up, so you don't even yeah. have to block. You just do it. Right, it's like a parry stance. Mm -hmm. But so I would, I think... ar but I would argue that like that would be like almost similar to a DP, no? Yes, because you, you still have to like not press the button on a on on her timing because if right. she wakes up and holds it, then it's like if she hears the sound, she does the counter. Whereas if you do like a fake meteor or something, you see it, you just punish it correctly. Right, where it's like in in a plus R biking is like you're kind of every block that you do, you're sort of questioning like how to deal with if a move's gonna come out afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see VR right now. Damn, I forgot oh, you played this game. Shit. Yeah, he plays this game, bro. VR riding. That's an old name. That's an old name. I think he plays. I'm I'm not sure. Don't don't kill me for this. I think he plays BB tag now. Is he mostly just playing BB tag? I think so, but okay. I don't know if he's still like heavy in the BB tag or not. I don't know if this is the same VR ride, and if it's not, then someone. I would, be I would be surprised if somebody decided they wanted to pick up VR ride and handle after like six or seven years. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know him from Guilty Gear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Exert is Bike and Slayer and Jam. Oh, Jam too. That's right. You got to worry oh, about Perry. Wake up yeah, yeah, Wake Up Perry. That's right. Thank you. Feels like it's way less characters. Still. Because you have to Wait. worry, like, because it's like Bike and Anji, like Robokai, Bridget, Bridget uh, Slayer, Jam, uh, <laughs> Abba to a degree. Abba, <laughs> yeah. Zappa. Zappa. There's like more than more I'm missing. Anji. Yeah, mm. Anji. You have to worry about wake up pressure with Anji. It's not it's not the same, but at the same time you can't pressure him like you can pressure every other character. Otherwise you just get eaten alive. Alright, Drew Chuck vs. VR right. And I forgot Drew Chuck plays Cliff. God damn. All all of so many people picked up Cliff in GGPO plus R era. It's kind of wild. I mean he's pretty easy to play, honestly. He's he's also pretty funny. Like I, I can see why people enjoy this character because he's kind of an oddball in a different way than Faust, right? VR <laughs> mm. Raiden's going in. The nostalgia of watching VR Raiden's soul is so is fucking crazy. Bro, how did he get that confirmed off of that stray 5k? What a piece. Oi! Pick it up. Alright, bring some burst for it. You really want it to be like, I want to play the game. He's my burst. <laughs> I want something out of this round, please! Ooh, that ain't actually knocked down, okay. okay. Put him into the corner. Wait, oh, my back. wait oh, what my he back. wait, what happened to his back? How did that happen on the first try? Oh, that's poor RNG. <laughs> Holy crap! Cliff out here like my back, my back, my back! <laughs> Uh, oh, he almost got the queen confirmed, damn. Oh, man. Oi. Alright, uses the trade to tech out of the core. Oh my god, my life! That's a high, right? The... Oh, charge 6H? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a high. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that was a mid for the longest time. I don't know why. That is a, a, an overhead. Turn the Marpa! There you go, right. chase him down. He's got all the meter in the world. I'm scared. He's so bad. Oh, no! Character in video game history. I think it is Soul, yeah. Because <laughs> Tyrant Rave and Grand Viper just make the loudest noise possible. Bro. <laughs> Nothing will be as loud as uh, Blaze Blue. Oh, for Rachel. Yeah. Rachel uh, Bottom Lily. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, CT was the loudest game known to me. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
Especially when you play on the cabinets that had the big speakers. <laughs> yeah. You're like on the other side of the arcade. Like, Please select your character. <laughs> that was a good rendition. It was very good. Five feet confirmed. All right, it takes the easy knockdown. Oh, he just did 5k meaty. Oh wait, is that a desync? That looks like a desync. I'll figure it out in a second. We are right in a desyncing, so it's fine for him. Oh no, they're fine. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh. Hey, oh. Mr. Da run up. Oh, do it again. That's fine. Uh. Mm -mm. Whew, that's cool. right is like, I, I have been playing this game for this long. It ain't phasing me. Hmm. Just got hit by straight gun flame. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Maybe it is a decent yeah, It looks like a decent thing. controller problems. It might be controller problems, because VR right is still playing like, you know, VR right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be like a controller thing where he he might have clicked outside of the screen, and then try to come back in. Mm. Oh, he's he's dead. Bro. <laughs> it's great, man. Combo. Oh no, he's almost done. Ah oh, no, we gotta figure out if that's a desync. Cause it looks like it for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that it's so loud. On blocker hit, it just explodes. Man. Uh. Yeah, this is, this game just had like blow out your speaker sounds mm -hmm. in a in a in, in a way that does not exist anymore because everything's like, 4K, 1080p, HD. Everything sounds nice. Slack nothing sounds. Nothing sounds like a mechanical disaster. Bridget's explosion super. Oh. <laughs> and just, it also <laughs> hurts my ears. Goddamn. <laughs> Cause like I had, uh, when I first booted up the game, I had to like put the in-game sound to like 10 or whatever. And then I had to go to my system settings and also put this game to like 10 or 15 cause it's too yeah. loud. It's, it's wonderful. I honestly love it, but it's, it's so, it's so akin to fighting games. Like it's so related to fighting or uh, anime games with me that they're just like absurdly loud for no reason. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's great. Especially in Soul. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it, it makes sense, though. Soul's like one of the angriest characters in fighting games. You should just be the loudest. Loudest, yeah. Alright, okay, so, so that, that seems... was indeed a desync. Desync, okay. No, okay. So we're gonna redo that match. So we're doing the second match, but the first match is still going to be alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay, they right. both said it was the first match was fine. Okay. VRN's like, thank god, desync, yes, let's go. <laughs> I get to do more soul combos. God, Soul players really just want to do Soul combos. Because he has Sidewinder in this game. Yeah. Like, it's one of those moves that's so satisfying to hit because it says clean hit. It's like, yeah, you did this right. <laughs> yeah, I'm nice. Oh, he did run up uh. DP. Uh-oh. Universe? Oh, next was that a Was that a first combo on purpose? I don't know. I, am, I am, don't remember. I know that combos with Grand Viper work differently on light characters. Because the same thing can... You can do the same thing with Milia. <laughs> but... I don't know if... I don't know if he did actually meant to do that. Because it's not necessarily a good thing. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That's rude! Oh, man. Alright, throw him in the corner. Almost got it. That was close. Alright, you truck gets a knockdown. So this is like this is more or less the area that Cliff wants to control. Oh no, that's the wrong move. It... Oh. Yeah, you, you kind of want to be at like uh, far S, 5H range, something like that. And you basically just want to use stuff like, oh my god, overhead, he's dead. Pick it up, <gasps> almost, almost. Yeah, meter. Ooh, actually too far. He should have used the force break version, but that's hard to judge sometimes. Oh, oh no, he did. <laughs> He did front up DP <laughs> RC DP. He's like, I'm trying to win this round, Bucko. <laughs> I'm going in. Oh man. Dude, he that's, was like that's... He was like, damn, I messed that combo up. It sucks. I'm just gonna go in now. That's the that's the old way we used to do Soul used to do things, man. You meter, you just spend it on random RCs. 
You're right, though. If I had the ability to use Meteor like that, I'd just be like, all right, I don't have a DP, but I'm throwing out moves. And if I had the like... ability to spend Meteor, I would spend it on our Matrino campaign. Hey! <laughs> Very good. Uh, back at it again, of course. We have a Matrino campaign for this week's tournament. And uh, already at $47 about, which is pretty nice. Um, definitely shout outs to everyone that's contributed so far, including uh, for the human race with $30.50. And, uh, and everything else is actually. Uh, Pretty much everything else is 50 cents or, or below, which means people are using that promo code. That's... That's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, thank you. Remember that there is a promo code here. If you pop in the code uh, GGNetplay4, assuming it hasn't been used up already, uh, you can add 50 cents to the pot for free. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't take any money, just takes some time. All you have to do is sign in with any social media account you want. And you can uh, hit that contribute button, pop in the promo code. And of course, while you're there, you can check out the uh, sponsor quests and the marketplace here. Uh, there's items that you can buy here, uh, some spooky and uh, NYC Furby merchandise. And all of it adds money to the prize pool. We also have sponsor quests over here on the sidebar. These are, ooh, you can retweet James Chen to add 20 cents to the, to the prize pool. These are all like simple social media actions that are uh, super quick to do and add add up to quite a bit if you do them all. So definitely check those out. Yes. I can retweet James Chen for money? That's crazy. Right? Thank you, James Chen. The future Chen. is wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, it's, please do them. They take like a couple seconds of your time and they go towards making more of these possible, especially if, you know, people are excited to see more of these. So mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody who who puts in the, the little bit of effort that takes this because it is out of your way. So it is appreciated. Yes. So it looks like we have our next two players up here. I don't, is, is Froton actually this person's name or is it like a Steam handle? Yeah, well, they're Froton in, uh, in Discord as well. Okay. okay. So I guess it's Froton versus... Ah. Also, Sunny. people ah. have enough wins that they're overflowing the uh, the UI there. <laughs> what the yeah, hell? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Almost it's <came. laughs> Wait, does Sunny have like seven thousand games? Almost seven thousand. Oh, almost seven thousand uh, player matches. Player this doesn't matches. include rank. Oh God. Hello. He you likes this game a lot. Oh Insane. my God. All right, but he's been playing monster. since before um, GGPL. He was like, "I love this game so much. I'm gonna learn how to play it." in the constraints of delay-based netcode, so when it finally gets released that I have rollback netcode, I will become one of the greatest. I... Please, it's, it's like, it's it's hard, like, you don't understand how bad, like, plus R delay-based netcode it was. It was... It is an insult to delay-based netcode, that's how bad it was. That's pretty bad. It was terrible. It was awesome. 20k on PSN and 10k on Xbox Live. Oh god, I forgot. It's also on Xbox. So, he's played almost 40k games. Yeah, he's almost played 40k games. What a monster. And, and playing a character like Eddie in this version of this game, where a lot of people think Eddie's, like, bad. I, I think it's safe to say he really likes this game and this character. Oh, yeah. Oh god. Oh, 6 is too far. Knocked down. I'm so <laughs> I mean, right. sure. You really gotta take advantage of like having better buttons than Eddie in this game and really just like focus on getting knockdowns. Alright, lightning strike. Hey, 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 the classic cross up greed sever. Cross up greed sever. Alright, so Sunny looks like oh god. Yeah, he got hit by two greed severs, he lost most of his life already. Three is, greed sever. Yes. This character has very, very little effective health. Cross up greed sever, yeah! He lost the four green severs! <laughs> <laughs> Whew! Studied it straight from the Bible of Kai. <laughs> you, you think your character's bad? Just do run up green severs. See what happens. You know, honestly, that, that's that's the problem with me in this game. I just don't do enough green severs. It probably is. Also, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. I can oh, do wait. that too. 
I think he tried to unblockable him, but he just fixed it with skills. Whew. He was just like, okay, he can never do Greed Sever if I just hit him once. Uh oh. <laughs> I can't do Greed Sever if I'm constantly putting him. Do Greed Sever. He's, he tried to do it. He tried to do it again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Oh, Jump K. 6 H. Sunny's just like, oh, this person's a mad person. Oh, little Eddie's gone. Skills. Yep. <gasps> the air is impeccable. Yes! I can't believe he did it again, the madman! They I said traded. it wasn't possible! They said he wouldn't do it again! He has so much meter. Oh, he's dead, though. Please make sure you kill him with this, or else he's gonna do Greed Sever again. He's gonna wake up Greed Sever. No, he's gonna Greed Sever and hit stun. Man. That's, that's what he's gonna do. Kai needs an air Greed Sever. Bro! So, he, so he can do Greed Sever, RC Greed Sever. That's so why he can just do air dash greed. He can do cross up air dash greed sever. Yeah. How sick would that be? It sounds mad silly, actually. That sounds sick. That should have been his force break greed sever. It should have no, been what? him doing it in the air. In the air. <laughs> yeah, that would be sick. It also would look... probably suck way less. Probably. Okay. All right. Sunny going back in, but Proton's just like, hold this jump ace, bro. There it is. Yeah, it's too go. far to punish. No, that's footsie greet sever. That's different. See? That, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Early burst, because he, he got his greet sever punished. Oh, let's go. Oh, he got hit. Exhaustion. Time to hold his boxer uh, again. Uh, 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 Exhaustion uh, again. Uh, 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 uh. Overhead! Oh, I have nightmares of that exact same sequence happening to me. Bro, he did one overhead. Oh, oh he could have killed him. He actually could have murdered him, but he wanted him in the corner. Bye. All right, little Eddie's gone. Proton has a chance. DP, no. Oh, jump kick counter hit. 6H, he's still pressing buttons. He hasn't hit the ground yet. He's not dead. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Do it again. It would have worked. <laughs> oh, no, he's going low now. The mix-up has been applied. <laughs> He needs to hurry up because he's about to lose. Oh, there it is. Burst. Oh, oh great over. Yes. He matched, he matched that throw. Uh-huh. He's right. going to do it. Seven. Yes. We all knew it was coming. He still did it anyway. Oh, bro, God. that throw was so far. Oh, no. He missed up the, he messed up the combo. He got two yes. and the close. He's going to do it. The man. <laughs> oh, he did oh, it. No. He did. Oh, no. Immediate exhaustion. Deal with this for 10 seconds, Bucko. Overhead? Oh, no, he just got chipped out, actually. I thought he was just going to crank out a DP. Oh, my God. No. Nah. Oh, my God. If only Greets ever had invincibility. That was terrifying. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like that match was, like, what all... Non Kai mains think Kai is. <laughs> he's just gonna do Greed Sever. Yeah, it's just like you're always you're constantly afraid of Greed Sever, but like in in reality, like unless you're excluding this guy, like every Kai player is afraid of doing Greed Sever. Yeah, because they're they're taught at the uh, like as soon as they touch the game, as soon as someone sees that they're playing Kai, it's like all right. First rule, never do Greed Sever. It's bad. When you do it, you'll get punished, you'll die. Never do it. You'll disgrace your family. You'll disgrace your, the rest of your ancestors. Never do Greed Sever. And this guy's just like, I'm going to do Greed Sever. Listen, someone told me when I first started playing Kai in competitive play that if I did Greed Sever trying to open someone up, Steve H would look down for me in the heavens with a disapproving face. He's not dead. <laughs> what the hell? So I, uh, I I can't disappoint the ghost of Steve H. He's so not dead. <laughs> so I decided not to do it. You could have said like <laughs> he'll show up he'll show up at my like at my match station just look look at me with a disapproving uh, dad stare. He's not dead. Come on, bro. Steve H. <laughs> Steve H. will come to my match station and just jump on my table and yell at me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> And everybody like, oh, he did Greed Sever, that's why he's mad. Bro, he is not dead. <laughs> he's not dead. He I, should not dead. It. I should preface. Steve H is still alive and not bursting. <laughs> he's still holding his burst somewhere in the world. Mm -hmm. 
I've only seen him burst three times in my life. The only burst I actually remember off the top of my head is uh, him versus Marlon Pie. Other than that, I don't remember any other ones. Me neither. He might have he might have bursted versus Kasoru, but I haven't watched that match in so long. I feel like if you see Steve H burst, you need to go get a lottery ticket because you're almost never going to see that again. It's you... rarer than a meteorite passing through the yeah. Earth's atmosphere. <laughs> you're more likely to see Haley's Comet than yes, you are watching actually. Steve H burst. Actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Steve H the God. I hope he's doing well. Yep. I know. I hope he's still down there with the um, MDVA boys. Yeah. They're all cool. I miss all. That was a good group of cats to watch play back in the day because they were all crazy people. Mm -hmm. all. And I don't just mean in game. <laughs> I mean in general. They were all maniacs, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but they were all really. They're all man. They they hyped that game up so well. It was crazy. Oh god. <laughs> hopefully when uh hopefully when the looming virus situation becomes a lot less serious, uh, locals will be invigorated due to the fact that people are playing online and they can actually play offline and see their friends again and be like, damn, I can I can play games with my friends and then when I go home I can still play my games with my friends. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about this, I think, a couple days ago, like the envisioning of like an old game that everybody wants to play, but it's still technically an old game, right? Like it, it's it's one of those things where it's like it's might be hard to do things routinely for this game, but it would be nice that it is very nice that we have the possibility to do things with this game consistently now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, uh. I think I brought this up on the last uh, the last tournament that we did, but like the idea of mimicking a lot of Japanese tournaments now, we can do that. Like old five v like the five v five tournaments or like same character tournaments, twenty five v twenty fives, like we did last time. Like that twenty five v twenty five was so sick. I highly suggest watching it if you haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. uh, it is on uh, I believe it's on Arturo's YouTube now, <laughs> and it's phenomenal it's it was such such a good event it was super fun a lot of shit talk uh mahoko going off uh it was yeah i mean like that stuff wouldn't have been possible without this without the gpo buff and i think that like we should be able to get around to do this like more often in some capacity yeah, yeah in some i'm not asking for this every week i think the fact that we've done like a month of this is crazy in and of itself and super cool that people are willing to uh support it in this way but i also think that in in some sort of like uh in in a more sustainable capacity that they'll probably these will probably happen a lot less and that's okay that's the, the way the life works yeah and uh i'm i'm still super excited for that that world as well i i would hope that uh <clears throat> That there are more quote unquote beginner tournaments because it's it's hard for people to, to understand like hey I, I wanna play in a beginner tournament because like I have no idea what I'm really doing but I still want to play against strong people. Mm -hmm. But beginner tournaments actually do help a lot because oh, yeah. yes they exclude certain strong people, but it's like the player base of this game is so expansive and that we can play so many people across different areas now that we have rollback. It's like yeah, yeah beginner tournament Multiple beginner tournaments a week are okay, I feel like, as long as you have a, uh, a cap on them. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Assuming that a legit sad witch is digital watches. Uh, <laughs> All right, yeah. That, 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 would, that would be, that would be very the cool. first yeah, uh, yeah. top eight qualifier match. Um, all the next four matches are going to be to make it out of pools. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, because there's like 75 people today? Yeah, so we're doing two pools. And, and eight people make it out of each. That's nice. Uh, gotcha. So, uh, this match is what we're going to have up right now. Digital Watches versus Dindo. And then uh, Jace versus uh, Funny Ward Stick. And uh, Devo versus Akito. And mm. DR Raiden versus. Ooh, let's go Cap. Capconia. Oh, nice. Uh, Alright, so. Capconia. So, uh, I was told earlier that Diando switched back to Venom because 
he really likes Venom. Like, it's one of those things you play a character for long enough, you're like, hmm, I'll stick with them. I'll, I'll, whatever weaknesses they have, I'll get over it, and I still like this character. So he's playing Venom this time around instead of Anji? Yeah. Okay. Because I know the last time we saw him play, he played the Anji. Yeah. And he played a pretty darn good Anji on top of it. It was super clean. I was mad impressed. Yeah, me too. To the and point where we were thinking that maybe some other folks were, might have been using, using his account. Because <laughs> it was like legitimately that impressive at how quick. I, I don't know like the extent of which he played Anji previous to now, but it's still not the time that he had put into Venom. Not even close, right? <laughs> so the fact that he was that good at that character at that point is super cool. Alright, so the digital watches. Uh, yep, okay. I thought she was gonna switch off of Axel for some reason, but it's still playing the Axel that everybody knows, and it's just like, damn, how do I fight this character? And she's just like, don't get hit. Don't get hit. <laughs> lessons, <laughs> lessons to live by. Right? Yeah. Oh no! Whew, no, I'm blocking. Alright, I actually got the dash out of the corner, but the thing is that, like, stuff like Rensengeki is always just going to be a pain in uh, Venom's side, unless he's able to get a knockdown in some way, shape, or form. And that's just super hard with not having a ball on the screen. But this happens if you try to set a ball on the screen. Overhead! Oh, oh a hard read with the DP. I, I'm not sure if she knew that, like, it wasn't going to combo. She was like, he's going to press a button. Oh, dash all the way to the corner. Oh, yeah, Dai didn't get that knockdown that he wanted. With FRC Rensengeki. Good timing on the burst as well. Alright, more ball sets. Ooh, oh, Dai goes back into the corner. Uh -huh. No burst. Uh -huh. Bomber loops. Black beat. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Tech tech better. Press button's gooder. I feel like, did, did it become easier to uh, tech in, in Exert? Uh... I feel a like, or is, it, or is that just the consequence of the buffer? It's probably the buffer. Because I know there's like a lot of situations where you miss the tech window by like one or two frames, and it's super hard to tech some things. Oof. Ah, there's a follow-up. Mm -hmm. All right, late tech. Oh, tech's in the 5k. So as you can see, fighting Axel is a is a struggle sometimes because you have to deal with. The fact that he can hit you from almost anywhere on the screen, and a lot of his uh, special moves have a follow-up version, depending on which one he does. Yeah. <clears throat> this character's hard to play, uh, but at the same time, like, this is probably, like, the best version of Axel in, like, a long time. Yeah. I, I feel like he was better. This uh, this version of Axel is better than he was in AC, and he's better than he is in any point in Exit. Because he just has options in this game, like Rents and FRC having the ability to threat a lot of damage, being able to have good normals that hit twice and make it scary for people to go in. Oh, All that stuff's frightening. Also, generally, uh, because he's kind of a low damage character outside of using meter, uh, guard crank in general is more important for characters like him. Oh my god. Alright, Axel's doing a lot of damage in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, unless you're in the that's what I mean. Got the meter. Oi. Oh, what was that burst? He has a nice life lead, but he might pay for it. No, we didn't get a confirm on that hit. Mm. Alright, so Diane did a little bit better in that match there. Ooh, and you can see how digital watches is using that 2k to get under a lot of jump ins. And she gets confirm Bumber. Wait, uh, where's his life going? Hello? Send help! Alright, FRC. Ooh! Again, the same situation happened earlier. Yeah, hard read on that. Ooh! Let's go die. Hey, All 2K right. low! Oh, you tried to do, uh, or tried to combo into the dubious curve. Nice ball set? Ah. Ooh. Oh, 6 H. Oh, pull back and get him. Nice. Oh. Oh. I do not know you wanted the 6K. Or, yeah, yeah, 6K. He has a chance, though. Hits him out of the air. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Definitely found his stride a little bit more. 
Run up. Oh. Pressure. Yeah, that guard crank's gonna really hurt Venom if he gets the hit. Knock down. Oh Ooh, my meaty, god. Meaty, meaty 6 H. Okay, didn't get the clean barber loops. No, I didn't take the pressure there instead. Oh god, gets away from the unblockable. That's the slowest moving unblockable I've ever seen. Dead end. Good use of meter, especially in this matchup. You don't want to be in that position. Hey, 2k anti-air. First. Oof. Kind of hard to punish at that range. Gets a 2k close us. Dies making sure oh, he doesn't oh, get through. Yeah. Cause that's tough, because you don't want to flinch too early. Because if you put out a button and Axel does 6H, Axel's just going to explode you. And you're like, huh. Cool. Right. right. Especially after like 3P, you're sort of sitting there like, what's the next part of this? Because 3P is uh, is plus. <laughs> so you're sitting there, you get hit by 3P, and you're like, all right, what's the next like, what's the next Gatling option out of this? Like, because you usually the very common thing to do is you do 3P 6H. 6H, right? right. Yeah, and so he's looking for the 6H, trying to react to it, and then you get ran up thrown. Mm -hmm. But DW is still going on. Ugh. Super. I, I'm like. DW was like one of the very few consistent representatives that we had for Axel at the top level. And the fact that she's still running the game this good is fun because I like this character is a historically underrepresented uh, represented character. <clears throat> and I think she's how to say that she's really repping the character like hard. For the United States, yeah, mostly because I don't know of any other Axel at her level. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, because when I hear Axel, there might be one or two others, but they don't come to mind immediately, which sounds bad because you're like, oh, you're supposed to have expansive knowledge of the scene, and it's like, hey, give me a break. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's not many like other than Capconian. Like, who else plays this character? Right. So it's like, you, 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 like, yes, I know. I'll do my research, but like. The game just came back again, and I have to now like look at a list of players that date back to like ten plus years. Like, please, please. I'm not no, I'm not an old man like everybody else or who's been playing since like the dawn of time. Just like back, uh, back when I didn't have to worry about YRCs or these other Elfil characters. You know, I don't. But please, stop. Mm -hmm. All right, we have Jace versus Sunny again. I I believe they played. The first tournament? I can't remember. I don't remember either, but it should be uh, Eddie versus Bridget. There it is, yep. Yeah, okay, wonderful. Just making sure that that's, that is the case. Whew. So, this is one of those weird matchups where neither character actually has any good way to keep people locked down, uh, or like. This is the word where neither character has any good way to impose their ability on the other, but they both have really good ways to control neutral and really good ways to keep the opponent locked uh, on their butt once they're there. <laughs> so it is really about figuring out how to get this knockdown and then running your game like this. Well, like, you gotta you, you gotta chain it into one of them. You can't give the other opponent the ability to play neutral again. Uh oh, this is exhausting. I really would like if Sunny did more uh, empty jump, like just like hover mix-ups like an Exert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff's still good. Oh! Uh, uh, knockdown. Wait, a little greedy on the Oki there. Sunny recognized. Hey, hey, hey Commander. Damn Fang. Ooh, clean, clean, clean. Oh, I love, I love that wood pose actually. I, this is supposed to be like the more crazy version of uh, Eddie. Yeah. What? I didn't even see where Roger was. What the hell? Ooh. Ooh, very nice. Tagged him out of the air. Roger hug. He's able to get it off. Cancel into Roger rush. Bing! Free Actually, just uses that time for Oki. Yeah, that was sick. Knocked down. Time again. Time to guess. All right, gets. Whoa! Oh, I thought Sonny had something special. That was sick. It is just a hard knockdown once you, uh, once you RC it. Oh, watch your head. Oh no, Zato's going. Little Eddie's going in. 
But Sonny doesn't have a lot of life to work with there, throw. Yeah, I was about to say, like, no Eddie, and you have such little life, you might have to give this one up. Oh! Oh! Is it Reload Summon? Yeah, oh. Reload Summon. Crazy. Alright, break the law, no punish. Yeah, throw. Not back to the corner, but cool. Sonny's pressing 2 peel uh, like that. Uh. Nice blocks! I uh, DB. <laughs> Sick! That was so sick. All the blocks and then the DP at the right moment. That was dope. Whew. All right, Bye. Gets back to the top of the screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Jagged like Roger. Just control so much space with the way that thing moves. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he comboed into his own killing machine. That was so sick. Uh, that was on that the other side so of the screen, and it was just like, "Hey, I'm safe. I'm I'm safe to approach." It's like, "Wait, I'm getting comboed into this. No, what, what's going on? What, what's happening?" Oh, I don't know which every. I don't know which all of the buttons are for the yo-yo toss. I think that was like 8H, but like, no, 8H is all the way up. There's one of the one of the weird ones. Uh, but man, like, I just saw that yo-yo float, and I was like, I can't do this. Here. Oh. oh my god, the lady's gone already! Set on. Knock down. down. Do it again. Gets away from Roger this time, but still in the corner. Uh, Ooh, oh, call back and hit him. But Roger just being there with all his blades just makes it really hard to try to like swing into him. Yeah, Jagged Roger just controls so much space. Whoops! Ooh, pressure kind of fell off a little bit, but you know, if we have a problem with Eddie, we just do skills. You do, you do, you spend 25 meter and you have a big drill. Yep. 2H, nope. Works ah. Jagged Roger, just saves you a lot of time and space. Mm. Wow. The, problem with, the problem with fighting Bridget is you start getting impatient, so you start running into buttons that normally you think you can get in front of, but Bridget Ryan. Some of his normals are a lot better than you expect, so you have to like kind of respect them, especially with the yo-yo ball I do. Ooh, no punish. Ooh, jump KO hitting the wrong way. Jagged Roger just uses that to run up and take space. Hey, 2H. Yeah, nice 2H. Perfect angle for it, too. Ooh! Skills? Skills? Almost gets the last hit. Ooh, no Wait. Toss it. Oh, no. This is a really bad situation. Actually, yeah, me and my killing machine tries to delay as much as he can. Gallery right into the loving arms of Roger. I, I thought he was going to air dash out to be clean. Just to be like, all right, cool. You killing machines below me, I'm going to air dash to the middle of the screen. Ah. I said he did uh, Shadow Gallery. Yeah. Because... I I think he, maybe he was trying to time it in a way there was like Shadow Gallery would come out like after me and my killing machine was done. Oh, uh, okay. No, that, that lasts for a little while. You, you're you better off just running. Cause like, even if you hit Bridget, it doesn't go away. It just sits there. Right. So like knowing that and knowing that Sunny is like very experienced with the game, I felt like that was his reasoning. Uh, because yeah. I can't, I can't imagine that he thought that he was going to hit Bridget out of me and my killing machine, because that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> don't work like that. Projectors yeah, on the exactly. screen don't go away all the time. So that's that, that's like legitimately my only reasoning for trying to delay as long as you could there. Wait, Sam, who's that in the lobby? Oh, man. Is that Seattle Zone? He's missing I... like 20 O's. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's his dad. That's the original Devo. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, is he his own dad? What? No, Devo. That's 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 the that's the sole player that we know that's traveled around during Exert days. <laughs> Just Devo themselves. That's his dad. Oh, that's that. Okay, okay, Just check. <laughs> he had to pick. He had to pick. He had to get a, a different handle. <laughs> Devo, however. That's a different player. Ooh, versus Akito. Okay, so this is Seattle to SoCal? Yes. All right, so Akito should should be playing Faust. Faust right? I don't remember if he played Faust or Zappa. I felt like he... 
I don't <laughs> remember because I remember we saw him uh, two tournaments ago. <laughs> no, last yeah. tournament. Uh, yeah, I don't I remember. Know. Either way, he he's a, he's an oddball player. Uh, he's an oddball player. Like he likes playing oddball characters. Yeah, that, that's kind of what I was going off of. Like he he did play Faust and Exert, and I saw him play yes. last week, and I think it was Zappa, but I can't remember. <clears throat> Either way, uh, uh, was David playing Slayer in this version? Maybe. Yes, yes, he was. Oh, Robo, that's right. Oh, that's right. Other oddball character. I like how we say oddball characters, but they're all good. They, they all have like no, no, they're really... they're just like weird characters. They have like some odd mechanic about them that makes them different than the majority of the cast. Mm. Uh. But yeah, Devo. I, I don't know if he's he played a bunch of AC, honestly, but I remember in at least in Exert, he was a Slayer player to begin, and then he realized that that was a bad business decision. So <laughs> went to Soul. Went to Soul. Did a lot better. Good for him. Making the right decision in life. And now he's that, playing Fun Slayer, which is also the right decision. Oh! Oh! He tried to combo off it. Yeah, almost. Oh no, Joe H. He went for the Knight's combo too. Yeah, a lot of people don't do like the good, the, the nice Slayer. Oh my <laughs> god. Yo, is that Dave O or is that Dave O? Oh, that was sick. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty clean. <laughs> oh, here we go. Mix up. Overhead blocks. Oh, oh we still DP. I'm 90% sure all the damage on Dave O right now are his DPs. DPs, yep. <laughs> That conversion was. Oh, that was crispy. Sick. Flip that for me, please. Ooh, he was he was looking to do press jump H, but he was like, yeah, I won't press jump H here. All right, gets away from the tackle. Ooh, we're in the. Uh, 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 uh. Look at this. The combos. Ooh. Yeah, looking for something. I'll wake up there. Probably another DP since he saw four of them. Mm. Oh, he didn't get his combos. Cool, he gets free knockdown. Yeah. Oh, yeah no. Okay. <gasps> Oof. Uh, wait, wait, bam! All right, all right, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. wow, wake up to age. All right, okay. He's like, he's like, I gotta win right now, but he's a uh, force break, dandy stuff. Ooh, answer. Yeah. yeah. The thing forget. about that is you can't do it too early or else he faces the wrong way when you press 2S. You have to like yeah. wait a little bit for the character to change positions after they air dash. Yeah. There's not a lot of characters that have 2S anti-airs, but uh, that is like a, a unique difference for those characters that do. I'm still on that conversion that he did earlier. Whew. Oh my god! That, uh, mwah. Gorgeous. That's one thing I miss about uh, Slayer combos and Exert is how clean they look. Yeah, they're so pretty. Oh god! Oh. Nice! Oh my god, Davo is making me feel some ways. Mm. Oh, there's a burst. He could have FRC that 6P and made it safe. Oh, there's a DP. Oh, wait, <laughs> okay, 2D. Tech, tech 2D. Ding ding. Gonna use the meter to convert that into a full combo. Very nice. I'm trying Ooh. to bait the DP again. He's, he's not dead, but he didn't block low for the 2k after. Yeah. Yeah, having Ford, uh, Force Break Dandy, just being able to continue pressure like that, so good for this character. Oops, I get the knockdown, it's cool though. Keep pressure. Commander. Ooh. Right in my loving arms, too. Gonna set that up for Oki that time. Empty jump low, knockdown with a 6p. Ooh, I wonder if he meant that to be a 2d. That might have been empty jump 5d just to like be like, hey, walk this 5d, please. Oh yeah, that that would be a mix-up from the empty jump 5k. It is not gonna go. You're right. Oh, slide, slide again. Oh. All right, Davo. Uh, 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 knockdown. Slowly getting mauled. Oh god. Yep. Force break crosswise heal. Oh. <laughs> Try to get through. Had the effort, had the RC to DP to make a save and get some dash of command through. Yeah, that's like the the one privilege that that character gets is that you either get to convert that meter into a super if it hits or RC to keep it safe. It's on block. Oh, no Ooh. punish on the palm bunker. Yeah, unexpected. 
I wasn't able to combo into 2H. But David will take that trade, especially because it resets neutral. And you can see Akito just trying to like get a little bit of space so he can get some meter. Yeah. Oi, caught the tech. Bad burst. Oi, not good, but I mean honestly he didn't take a ton of damage from it. He got lucky. Yeah, dust impossibles? Almost. That was sick though. Oh, huh, I wonder how he got that input. I actually oh. don't know. Uh, uh. Oi, that was rude. Uh, a little bit. He was he was salvaging the salvaging the combo, bro. Yeah. Oh man. Yo, I I love this Slayer so much. Yeah, yeah. Plus our Slayer is great. Plus our Slayer is, and it sucks because plus our play. Uh, Slayer players don't deserve anything. After <laughs> AC, after AC crimes, they deserve nothing. But they got but, better stuff, though. But they got stuff, and I still think the character is sick. So I'm utterly conflicted. I I don't know what to tell you, bro. He 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 looks cool. It's just that sometimes when you do something you think is right, you're wrong, and you lose fifty percent of your life. And you're like, ah, I see. Oh yeah, I made a it's my fault that I tried to anti-air you. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was your space. Like, it, mean, retroactively, like, retroactively, if you told me that we're going to give this character force break forward dandy, but in return, we're also going to make this character bad for like six years in the new game, I'd be like, yeah, okay, fine. But like, all right. But that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take those trade-offs, yeah. I, yeah, uh, looks like the like the new match reno tracker that I'm using here does not mm. refresh automatically because we are actually at almost a hundred dollars right now. Woo! Nice. And it still didn't update. Interesting. Well, I'll just <laughs> let's hop over to the uh, the actual page here. Mm -hmm. there, uh, yeah, ninety-five dollars and ninety cents right now. Is, uh, great stuff mm -hmm. and thank you to everyone that's contributed so far definitely uh, hit up the link if you haven't used the promo code already assuming that we still have uh, uses of it left definitely drop that in uh, in the page to donate a quick 50 cents to the bracket and uh, thank you to for the human race and uh, war dynamics with the, the big money donations here and also uh, uh, Boblin. <laughs> Uh, with uh, fifteen dollars and fifty cents, and NYC Furby with five dollars forty-nine. Also, uh, the Air Hideous with one dollar and one cent. Uh, yeah, thank you to everyone that's contributed so far. Be sure to check out the sponsor posts over on the sidebar as well. Those are, again, easy ways to add money to the pot without spending any of your own. And isn't that great? You get to contribute without spending your own money. All you have to do is put in a code. It's just free money like that free money and you can do it while we're setting up the next match so either way it is very appreciated thank you guys for tuning in and uh taking that little extra time to donate some to the pot because it just makes the matches way more exciting also lets us do more of these in the future yep and uh you don't have too much time to enter one because we do have our players here ready to go so we have capconian mm -hmm. and vr right i think this is the getting the top eight Yep. Uh, yep. This is our last uh, winners qualifier for top eight in this pool, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so Capconian versus uh, VR Raiden. Uh. So like the one thing about this is like Axel obviously like do a lot of stuff that evolves around like two K. Uh, sorry. 2H, uh, 6H, stuff like that. Rensen, you know, pressuring in that sense. Mm -hmm. Rensen's still pretty good, but it's slightly scarier on a character like Soul, who can bend at Bringer if you're at the bad, if you're at a bad range, or just IADN, because his his air dash is very, very good. Um, but the problem is that when you're when Axel's trying to pressure, there's the constant threat of having a DP. So then shit like yeah, shit like that happens because that range is not good for Axel. You do not want to rent send in that range. Oh, he just did Frontal Command Grab. What a, he's mad. He's angry. Well, that's how you play Soul. 
Nice. Trades in your favor. That's a very common thing for Axel, actually. A lot of trades go in his favor for four combos. Alright, this person with the FRC. Oh, right against tag. Try to move. Hey, overhead. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. That's trade in my favor. And he's in the corner, too. Not going to need that extra damage anyway. Two combos. That's it for Axel. Just able to take that trade and convert it into good damage. Ooh, try to 5D, but Ryan's like, I'm DPing. Get me out of here. That was SDP, too. Yeah, look at that. That that air dash distance is so good. I don't know what Capconi's doing the Axel thing when he just keeps doing counter. Uh, ooh, a little bit too late. DP tried to pick it up. Oh, oh that was almost a terrible burst, but it's okay because uh, Capconi got hit by it. Oh, late tech. And that's the other thing with fighting this character, you have to figure out how you're supposed to attack. Whoa. Oh no! I didn't spend no beater on that. Oh, he died. That sucks. Oh, he died with a full stick of butter. He hit Fafner and did not spend any meter. Yeah, I thought he was going to spend the, the extra 25 so he could get the knockdown and just keep pressure. You should have at least spent, like, maybe 50 just to RC into a combo. Right, or pressure, because like you get meters, you get meter for walking forward in this game. And once you have a hundred, you don't, you don't get like hundred and twenty. Yeah, just, you just have a hundred meters. So it's like I, I should probably use this. But he he probably thought that it was better. He was gonna get his burst, so he's like, all right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. Yeah. Oh my god, he did it again. That's two. That's three. That's four. Oh my god, he is killing him! And that's 50%. Oh, wait, he's full screen. <sighs> oh, run Ooh. under 5k. Uh. That's one. Uh. Two. Knockdown? Nice. Ooh, he didn't get the knockdown. I think he missed the jump cancel there. Air dash. Uh. Bomber. And Bomber. Oh. Oh. Yeah, tech up, and that way you're getting out of the tech situation. <gasps> oh no, that sucks! Blocks your red. Bring her! Oh. oh no, he got hit yeah. by the FRC! Oh no! He is betting on this round! Oh, he did TK bad revolver. No dead he angle, got he got like, hit. Yeah, he, he got hit by the second hit of 2H, actually. Yeah, he was either trying to dead angle or jump. But you have to respect the second hit unless you're going to like do an invul move. Hey, hey, unblockable. Yeah! Oh, pussies. Overhead. Nice. <laughs> just... Nice. That, that, I mean, that's 6H is not good in this matchup. <laughs> he, he, he got that hit by 5P2K. That's actually so impressive. Oh, no. You got those? <laughs> I'm not going to give you those. Yeah. This is there's a lot of momentum for Capconian, so definitely that's a, that's a smart burst there. As he's able to take it pretty darn quickly. And you get to the win, uh, winner's side top. Hey, very good. Mm -hmm. Again, Axel is one of those characters where if like you don't understand how you're supposed to counter poke the character or tech, because there's a lot of situations where you need to tech in the air. And if you don't tech FD or you're not far enough, he'll just un air unblockable you for more damage. And this is the one character that really teaches you how to change up uh, your air options. Mm -hmm. Like you have to learn how to late tech, you have to learn how to tech FD, you have to learn how to like up tech and, and use your air momentum, whichever character you have in, in a weird way. Because otherwise you will just get tech trapped to death, you will eat much more damage than you should. Alright. But cool, we got A, that's two actual players in top 16? Wait, I think that's top eight. Hold on, let me let, let me look. Let me let me not be bad and look at the bracket. So DW is already up there. It is top um, sixteen. Okay. 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 Because we we'll, still have uh, four more qualifying matches and losers. Gotcha. I can bring up the bracket. Oh wait. Okay. So winners, winners side top sixteen. We have Elven Shadow versus Allegari, uh, Skeleton Minion versus Fu, mm -hmm. Digital Watches versus Jace. And Devo versus the winner of... Oh, that should be Capconian, right? Should be Capconian, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So the very possible uh, scenario 
of uh, DW versus Capconian in top eight. Phew. <laughs> yeah. I know it's people are gonna wild. be like, yeah, people are gonna be like axle mirrors. Axel, like axle mirrors are kind of weird. Meanwhile, in in this pool, mm -hmm. uh, rounding things out, we're gonna have up first Diando versus uh, Naj. Let's go, Andrew. Um, uh, Sunny Wurtzik versus Sea Hill. Mm -hmm. uh, Akito five 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 versus Froton. Mm -hmm. And uh, VR Raiden versus the uh, winner of this match here between Onyx Spear and uh, Malice. Let's just pronounce Malice. Isn't it? I think so. It might be one of those things where like you don't pronounce uh, one of the vowels. Well, no, it's like, it's like a, it's like a may list. Um, It'd be may list if you're pronouncing it that the right I way. Think so. Well, yeah. it's like it's not. It's like how you can like uh, like demon. You can spell D A E M O N, but it's still oh yeah. It's still actually just pronounced demon. Demon. Mm -hmm. Well, right, I mean. Go ahead. I was just say the the, the the AE is supposed to make a hard A or a more pronounced A. But so like like day? Yeah, like like so it'd be like a daemon. Oh right, okay. I see. Or, or so so it'd be Malus. <laughs> really? Well That's that's more English than anybody needs to actually know though. <laughs> uh, I guess usually in in, uh, in like the IPA like phonetic alphabet, the like A E symbol is just just like ah. Uh, Whatever. Oh, right. Let's let's, let's stop. <laughs> stop geeking. This is out. not an English stream. This is not an English stream. That's for school. Fewer players. Um, so you can go ahead and get started with this match. Die and O. <sighs> All right. So I actually don't know who Nodges. Yeah. Nodge. I was gonna say the same thing, actually. But they play Bridget. Play Bridget. Bridget versus Venom. I would assume Venom has an, not like an okay time, but like he can he can kind of tag him while he's flying in the air. I, I feel like if you play an oppressive, if you play try to play like a more aggro style Bridget, like a la Mahoko, then you probably do pretty well in this matchup. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, like if you play like more passive style, you might struggle a little bit more. Oof. Either way, like. Somewhere in the world, like up ball Ian is just frothing at the mouth right now. Uh oh, knockdown! Doesn't block the 2K. Doesn't get knocked down though. Reverse the throw. Ah, uh, the classic. The classic. Uh. He's getting. Oh, he gets his knockdown though. <laughs> gets hit by DT. Starship. Nope, I'll do it. Whew. Oh, and you can see like that that carcass raid hits Bridget at that angle really well, but yeah. she can he can still tech and you have to like Ooh. Wow yeah. Bro, Mo you just got hit, let me play the game. Momentum burst. Mm. Might come back to bite him. Starship. Nope, nope. I'm a yeah. DP. Oh too far flash too far forward. That was a weird set for Jagger Roger. Oh, let's DP go. through it. Oh no, that should have been a knockdown. This is the first. Oh, okay, he got off the point. Thank God. Kickstart, ran all the way down. Ooh, got set in his face too. Got the standing confirm too. We out. Match it's struggle. So, it's so cool watching different Bridget players because they just all interact in a different way. Like actually doing 5D. That's crazy. Doing the low option 5D, right? Is, he that the he? Does he? Am I getting hit by stuff I don't know? Probably. Oh no. <laughs> Cross up. Alright, but I'll say yeah, he knew the DP was coming. Tries to wake up jump out of that. Oh no! Diana's taking all your meter. Hold this overhead. Uh. Uh. Ah, he's, uh -oh. he's small. You're just small, so it's kinda hard to combo him. Yeah. <laughs> Forest. I actually can't believe you blocked that kickstart. Me neither. Even I think he got hit. Yeah, even if it was from downtown, like, it was just like the very edge of the hitbox. <gasps> Wait, tech, there it is. Oh! That was almost a sick confirm. Oh, that's it. 
Late air dash, gets the 10k, Diana decides to burst. Mm. If he wants to see a burst again, he has to elongate this match. Oh, let's go! Dash the other side of the screen, gets him around him. Oh no! Tried to get the knockdown off it, but he'll do it with kickstart. Woo! I... Oh, this is like a about a damage too. Gets the throw. Yep. Ooh. All right, so I, I, I guess that burst that Diando did a little bit earlier in the round tried to get Nodge off of him, but it, yeah, but Nodge is just like, I'm, I'm back in there, I'm Bridget, I'm, I'm going. Uh. Trying to think. You're thinking of May. Is that is that oh, right? Yeah, May has a a high and a low five D. When you have to block low, when you have to like stand up to block. Oh no! We don't oh. burst like that. But it's okay because Naj isn't still in the corner, but down oh. a lot more left than he'd like to be. Ooh. Roger, Roger. Ooh. Wait, the slow walk up throw. Okay. Jump the cross up. Yep. Woo, got the throw, but nothing to do with that high. Carcass raid. Oh, just running into the cue balls. He ran into three different balls on counter hit. He took so much damage, actually. Yeah, that's the other thing with Venom is like, even if they don't combo, getting hit by like more than two balls in a sequence usually means you've lost close to 25% of your life. Yeah. There you go. Punch on the kickstart. Cross up, get the knockdown again. Oh, God. Oi. Mixes him up his shoes. Try to starship through it. Oh, Ooh, probably smooth. Was, yeah, probably tried to read an air throw there. Oh my god! Someone get this little boy out of the air, please. My eyes hurt. Knock down. Starship through it. <gasps> oh, jump out! hit. Tried to pick it up. God, the, the starship. <laughs> Dude, the force break jagger. It's so so good. Oh, to us, Stingray, Stingray again. Diando has a lot of meter, no air throw, late tech, into Roger, overhead. A ah! read on the burst too. No dead angle, he just presses 2k. Uh. He misses the first seat, no! It's okay. Hey! Yeah, I could use the force break carcass raid there, just making a wall. So yeah, that's how I you fight Bridget. It's just, you have to find some way to make it so- Whoa, what is this? What? Is, is Bridget and Testament that close to each other? I don't remember. <laughs> or is this like the, I'm losing, I'm gonna win. Is this, him, is this him making the business decision? We'll find out in a second. I guess. Okay, so he just did, he did an Arturo burst after doing Whip Warren. So we're about to find out. We are, but yeah. Hmm. Gets counter hit. Not All blocking right. anything. Testament is next to Bridget. Okay. So but this, this looks practice though. So yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Marcus Raid meaty. Mm -hmm. Warren again, yeah. Warren RC, classic. I don't know if this is real or not, because maybe maybe it was like a whoops, a whoops pick. Oh, it feels like a whoops pick. Nah, okay, I just saw that. Oh, just... no, okay, 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 okay. All right, it's real, real. No, no one combos into Hitomi on accident. <laughs> tries to tries to two H through that. Two H having some head involved for some reason. This is the Warren Ooh, again. Oh, that Warren. Oh, sick. Are right, you gonna burst poorly? No. It's about to mix up. Oh, not close enough for that to combo. Burst. <laughs> I, I don't know what input you would get where you get dubious curve on cross up. But Diana will take those every day of the week. Oh yeah. my god, jump D. Punish? Yep. Double hit morbid. Teleport. Oh, yeah, you're okay, right. Okay, okay. You're right. That, yeah, that would be K set carcass raid. No, you're right. <laughs> but we, we we take those though. Yeah.
No, absolutely. <laughs> it's like, where'd you cross me out? Whap! Hold that. <laughs> That's a good combo starter for me, thank you. You know, uh, <laughs> the thing the thing I was really liking about not just Bridget was that he played the character so differently. All right, like from <laughs> Jace, I mean. So Jace, like, you remember when we were watching Jace play? Jace was much more about, like, set yo-yo first and then start doing pressure in a weird way call yo-yo back and then do like do a mix up there right <laughs> uh the way that Nodge was playing was more like meaty with a normal and then find some weird way to sneak in the the yo-yo set and if you tried to stuff them by making a hard read then you might get hit by another normal <laughs> and it was it's different but it's also really cool. That's what I really like about Bridget. The character is absurdly open-ended in that way. If there's an image that I don't know if I can find anymore, but uh, Rue, a Japanese player, mm. he was known for like he invented most of the stuff for the character, and yeah. he was also known as the Bridget who can be at the top of the screen for the longest amount of time without you know falling down. So there, there's an image of just like. Uh, different aircrafts going into the air and then Bridget's just like what's up I'm in space it's like it's like an unknown number but Bridget's higher than everything I need to find that image we used to have um, Sanoshi an old uh, an old school Bridget player used to play like that too she used to just like find the top of the screen as soon as possible and <laughs> stay would, up there and stay up there and just throw like uh throw rogers down on you while you're in there and just like maybe touch the floor like three times <laughs> so freaking annoying you get like because like the thing about roger is like when roger comes down to flop on you and you like get hit by it, you're like oh man i got hit on accident or like i got hit by the part that's the low right <laughs> And then just Bridget disappears for like the next 45 seconds. And you're like, well, and you're just like what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, how do I fight this character? Oh, man. I remember those. Imagine playing a character that just you interacted with like three times in a match. And not that's like, that's includes like all blocks. Any block <laughs> that you did, any move that you did, you just interacted like three times. And you're just like, ah, yes, I've won or lost based off those interactions. Neat. Yeah. Neat. All right, so we have Sunny versus Seahill. All right, Seahill coming back from first round. No. That was like one of the first games. That was the first game we had on stream, but I don't know if it was first or second round. No, no, no it was like, it was to make top 16. This is to make top six. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, let's go. So I don't know how many Eno Sunny swap, but I'm pretty sure with all the games he's had, he he should probably know how to fight this character. You don't play 40k games and not fight an Eno once in your life. At the same time, uh, we saw Sia before it was pretty crispy. So this matchup, when when you get a crispy Eno, this matchup is really scary because you have no life. That means you have no life and no defensive options. You just, this is what happens. This is it, perfectly. You just get Oki to death after the first hit. Because mm -hmm. Eno's still one of those characters. Yep. Oh my god. All right, lost the goal burst. Stroke. Oh, two from far, 5k knockdown. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Oi. trying to get out of the air, using the air movement along with the dive. Get out of the way, force break. No, catch him out. Ooh. Locks the fuck jump K, but gets comboed anyway. Ooh, crispy. Yeah. Eddie has zero effective health. Wow, trying to use Amorphous? That's bold. Bold, that's I must a, say. That's not a real super. <laughs> it's not a real super. I don't care what anyone says. Even if it works, so you didn't mean to do it. <laughs> oh, Jumpy. You know what's funny is if he bursted that that uh, EX up dive, mm. it would have whiffed. I'm pretty sure it just whips. I can't. I can't remember the interaction, but you know, it's just like bye, just bye. That seems that seems pretty normal for like inconsistency with moves that move that fast. Mm. That they just whiff. Wait, did he pick Axel on purpose? Is that another 
are people one of so one of the changes that actually happened in um all right axel axel is not next to um what's it called <laughs> eddie eddie axel is not next to eddie right, this, this, this is on purpose so this, okay so this is on purpose and this is also a uh, technically a a counterfeit a, a terrible matchup for you though yes but <laughs> this is also guilty gear so you have to know <laughs> what you're doing yes that being said, Sunny has forty thousand games. So, so let's, let's say let's say he knows how to play the character. Right. Oh, lost dive. Ooh, hey. Oh, that, that raw six H. He's trying to snipe the seal out of the air, but he's not even taken to the air. Oof, knocked out. Burst coming soon. Oh, don't burst poorly. You're not See. dead. <gasps> Oi, he got away with it. <gasps> oh, Cali burst! You gotta make it worth. Oh my, the 6 H from downtown. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Oh, pfft. Rallstar kind of got bopped. Goodbye. Oh, that 6P to the in intercept any air movement. Yep. I'm rockable. Yeah! Cross up? Nope. That's for medium low. Force break note. Oh, punish. Let's go. Oh, no. Alright. Got away with it. I see a lot of patience from Seal. Ooh! Uh. The 5P confirmed? Mm. Dead angle? Mini oh, 6H. So mini. Such a bad situation. Yeah, especially after you lose your burst here and see he'll has his burst. Oh, like, this is so hard. FRC after HCL. So, the pressure is too much. Whew. Yeah, technically a bad matchup, but difficult. Difficult to play for sure. Right, because Eno doesn't have a conventional run or dash. She has a Morrigan hover, so that means you can't immediately block when you get into the air. So, Axel's Axel normals from half screen mean, hey, you want to approach it? That'd be. That would suck if I put a normal full screen and you just got hit, but Eno is one of those characters where if she get, she knocks you down and you're just wrong all the time, you just lose. It's not even like a normal, hey, I got knocked down and like, you know, I guess wrong once. It's like, you can't, can't see the mix up. You're, you're actually just like, ah. Yeah. And especially if you don't have like a DP or something like that, where you can mash out in where you think the gap is, uh, you kind of just have to eat shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Sunny also, yeah, looks, Eddie loses hard in that matchup. I don't blame you. Capconian saying this is not Exer, so it's not really a counter pick. Okay. I still think Axel does well in the matchup, but maybe it's not a counter pick. It's not as bad as it is in Exer, because Exer, it feels like it's awful. It's, it is terrible in Exer. But I also think that's because of the number of tools that Axel has yeah. compared to the number of tools that Eno has. And it's like, she she feels quote unquote bare bones, but at the same time it's like she's still some neat stuff. It's weird. Faulty, I swear to God, if you're defending if you're defending supers like Red Hail and Amorphous, then we're gonna have to throw some hands. Those su those aren't supers you do on those aren't supers. <laughs> if you win if you win with those supers, then I consider you the best of that character. Yeah. You can't right. win with Red Hail. That's just that's just a given. You can't win with Red Hail. <laughs> Didn't somebody win with Red Hail like two weeks ago? No, I don't believe you. That must have been a fever dream. <laughs> if that happened, it was on accident. Oh wait, Proton's back. Let's go. Yo, the Let's God Kai? Go. Oh, it's the not mirror match. Don't these two have a special intro? Hold on. Yes. Yeah. Bring back special intros. Please! If I could ask for what? Oh, okay, hold on, relax. <laughs> I'm gonna do slashback. Don't, don't need a slashback random thing. Alright. <clears throat> so Akito got Proton's burst out early. Proton's trying to play the game. Oh no. Oh. Alright, back to me. <laughs> yes! Yes! Let's go. Go back Six. to what brought you to the dance. Bro, he's on if he wins this, he's in top 16 loser side. I know. 
Oh, oh. oh my god! Oh, oh my head! <laughs> yeah, uh, Robokai Jump H is one of those normals that if it counter hits you, you're just like, hmm, I'm about to die. I'm in danger! <laughs> it makes the sound, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, footsie greets ever, that's pretty normal. Oh, yeah. That... Oh, he didn't expect the counter hit. He had more time to run up to get the combo. Oh, Metro Tech. Oh my god, he's just doing footsie greets. Oh. Ah, uh, yes, jump H, sorry. Or jump out, sorry, sorry, sorry. Think. Knock down, set that. Hey, nice bait. With five P's in order to get that, that was sick. Lightning, cross some greed sever. <laughs> Not today. But we're reversal throw because we got those. Whew, stun dipper. He's doing more lows. <gasps> oh, no. No, right, he held he up. It. He made it, he made it, made it. Save the route. Oh, God, it's like. This is like. The highest APM I have ever seen out of a Kai player. <laughs> oh god, he got hit by tackle. He just wants to press buttons! Cross up three ever. You know what? I'm a moron, honestly. Because every time I got into this situation, I use 3H. I'm nah. an idiot. I should yeah. just use Green Sever. Just use cross up three ever, bro. <laughs> Ooh, almost got the confirm. Reversal throw. RC. Whoops. Yeah, I missed the DP input. <laughs> okay, green sniper. Oh, gotta hit knee rocket. Gotta hit knee rocket. Oh, hit a missile. <gasps> green sniper gets blocked. No RC. He's just doing stuff. <laughs> he was just oh doing stuff different. Oh my god, I'm losing it. That was one match. That right? was one match. That was, that was one. That was one. Akito, get back here. Akito needed a break. He's losing his <laughs> mind watching what you're dealing with this. He was just like, I can't believe somebody would do that. Well, meanwhile, Proton's just like, yeah, bro, it, it works. Apparently, Akito got kicked to ranked mode. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what happened when you beat Froton? You, you you have to go to ranked? Oh, he's, he's the gatekeeper between uh, player matches and ranked, apparently. <laughs> God. This guy's me. I honestly just feel like a huge moron, though. You were playing Kai wrong the whole time. I was playing Kai wrong the entire time. You have to have confidence when you do Greed Sever. Like, the amount of Greed Severs that hit is tied to your confidence levels. Like, I was doing meaties in Oki. Nope. When I should have just been doing mix ups. Yep, yep, yep. Please select your character. Remember, kids, you. I have learned so much today. Meaties get DP'd or they get reversaled, whereas mix ups, they have to guess. So what better mix-up than run oh, up man. cross a green sever? <laughs> I've seen more cross up green severs than I've done in my life. <laughs> like <laughs> Oh man. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So now we have established that the green sever is the most prominent footsie tool in the land. Mm -hmm. How does Akito uh continue? Oh, oh god. Never mind. Not doing 2k full screen. All right, down, set down. mats. Oh, empty. That's not even a low. 2 is not even low. It's no, it's not. it's not. Oh, oh my geez. god. All right. Oh my god, help. All right, he has 100 meter. He's about to go ahead. 100 meter. I need to see. Okay. Ooh, the block? You, he'll, you get one of those around. Okay, you're not, he's not getting two. I guarantee it. Oh, oh wait. two it in a row. Two it wasn't, in a row. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't meaty. It wasn't meaty, that's right. It wasn't meaty. Alright, knock down. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! I told you. I told you. Oh my god, I told you. he did it again! I told you. He did it again! Help! It, it works as a mix-up. You only get the one block, then afterwards you better win, or else you're just gonna keep eating green severs. It's just like... I, my mind, like my third eye as a Kai player has opened. Because here I'm thinking that, like, Greed Sever is an overhead. But in fact, it is not only an overhead, but it is also a footsie tool. It is, it blows up lows. 
It, it's an anti-air. Oh, he's dizzy though. Oh, he's dead. Okay, let's start my combo 5k. Knockdown. Set maps. Ooh, blow puff smoke on him. Oh my god. Check oh my god. <laughs> Oops, he didn't match two eights hard enough. Oh, that wasn't on that wasn't on wake up, so it doesn't it doesn't count. Oh no. Oh, oh no! This this is the first self-destruct I've seen out of a Robokai player. Oh it's Akito, it's but Akito's from SoCal, so he, he maybe studies from the book of Stormlocks. Oh come here, let's go. Mini 5Ks. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's a Ooh! Fight! He found the button. It's five eights! Oh, that one's sick! He found the button. But he ran into a green summer. Oh! God, 5H is such a manly button. Because it stays up there forever. Oh. <gasps> he pressed 5H. 5H. He's trying to throw. No, he pressed one. I've not seen this man throw more than twice out of block stun. He read a greet severed, then tried to reversal throw. <laughs> and then he just 5H'd. He just 5H'd. Uh, what a uh, monster! Akito takes that, but great stuff to throw it on. That's exactly what I like to see. Like people are out here, like man, he he just did greed sever. How? Huh? Like, is he even any good? And it's like, yeah, he almost got the top sixteen loser side. He's that's pretty good in my book. But. All right, greed sever almost got in the top sixteen. He knew how to apply greed sever correctly. He knew how to use it. That's the thing. Like, I have never seen like. Foot, I've never seen Greed Sever applied in so many different ways. Like, it's just like margarine. You just like slap it on anything. Wait, so why is it margarine and not real butter? I mean, I don't know, because fine, butter, whatever. Yeah, come on, bro. It's same it, thing. It's not the same thing. It's the same thing. No. Kai is trying to, is trying to stay healthy. Listen, man, <laughs> the amount of butter that I went through yesterday. <laughs> I am conscious of butter right now. It's I can't believe it's real footsies. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to make a shit post with Kai Green Fever and that that slogan on it. I'm taking that. I am putting it into uh, my notes for later. <laughs> I can't believe it's real footsies. <laughs> so taking a quick look at the bracket. Um, uh -huh. So we're. Halfway through our losers qualifier matches. Oh wait, sorry, e. three quarters of the way through. Um, just finished that match with Akito and uh, Chris Froton. Mm -hmm. So last match here before top 16 is going to be VR rated versus Malice. Let's go. All right. <sighs> VR rated, man. It's fun. It's fun uh, watching all the old guys play again. It really is. Yeah, because you can see that uh, they haven't stuck to... They're not way back in like 2012, 2013 with like whatever they were doing back then. They've learned the proper combos. They've learned how to beat uh, certain things that were giving them issues before. Right. They, they, they didn't stay in their era back mm -hmm. then. They're just like, okay, I need to be able to fix, fix these habits that I have now. I need to be able to adapt to these situations now. And the level of play is a lot higher than I would have initially thought for the first month of this game being it well for the first like two weeks actually because mm -hmm. we were supposed to have the beta for like four days then it got extended to two weeks and then it was indefinite so it seems like everyone's just like yeah i like this game so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna practice and actually make it worth my while because it's only three yeah, bucks yeah. on steam it is uh yeah i would agree i i think it's incredibly impressive how good people have gotten I think I think the translation from all the years and all of the learning that we did in Exert kind of translated back to Plus R, and like mm -hmm. ultimately people are just better players in this game, which is yeah. kind of cool. It's kind of pretty cool. Because I know there's a lot of people who think <clears throat> because the game is old that oh I need to learn how to do FRCs. I need to do no learn how to do one frame jumps to shrink my hurt box. I need to learn how to slash back. Testament block string 2D into uh, EXE Beast. It's like you can slowly take these things one at a time before it becomes proficient for you. You don't have to like 
like there's a starting block. You don't have to be all the way up to like your master's degree or your PhD. You just have to like slowly learn because as you play more games, you will learn that like, hey, I can I can do this. This feels cool, or this thing feels really good. It's the game is super fun. Like I can't tell you like, oh, it's a good game because there's a lot of issues with the game that I do have, but I. Dude, I really like playing it. I really like the pace that it brings to a lot. It's a of, lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, a lot, lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, it is cool how many people have decided that they just still want to play this game despite all of its BS. Mm-hmm. Because definitely, like, definitely, spe- like I thought that coming from coming from like uh, Exerd, like some of the BS might be off-putting yeah. because it's like kind of like huge BS but like it, people are really taking it in stride it's pretty egregious but yeah. as long as you're willing to accept that it's that level of ham you can yeah. be like alright I-, I can enjoy this like I won't say it's a good game I'll say it's a really fun game those are two different things that I feel like people need to differentiate when they're discussing what they like about a game because if you say a game is good mm. and there's really egregious problems with the like the balance or the other issues of the game that can be off-putting to some people because they'll they'll look at it and be like man i got lied to i don't want to play this game anymore because people are fickle nowadays when they hear something's good yeah Mm, interesting got disconnected there Uh, okay yeah, I mean the netcode. Obviously, the netcode being a huge buff and like being a way that we can play Guilty Gear across country without it being an issue is like a huge sell. It's great, but at, but at the same time, it's like you hear that like Bridge is the worst character in the game, and then you get mixed up like thirty times in a row, and then you're like, what the hell is happening? Right? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Uh, it's cool. I'm happy. I'm happy people are playing this game. That's all. That's that's the that's the main thing to take away from it. Yeah, because like there's there's other games with really good netcode. You just have to pick what you like. You don't have to play something just because it has good netcode because maybe it doesn't appeal to you. But if you pick something that does have good netcode and it appeals to you, then you know it's win win. Yeah. All right. Malice Malice versus uh, VR Riding for the last spot in the top sixteen. Mm-hmm. VR writing starting off strong. Early burst because uh, Raiden already had the meter, so that was going to turn into massive damage if he, uh, if he was able to convert it. Oh! Wow. That's rude. Nice. Smartly going to the 2D in that situation, which is a good way to blow up a lot of Slayer's uh, meter options. Oh, Sidewinder, let's go. You're dead. Uh, 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 uh. There you go. Force break just to make sure because it gives you a clean hit for spending 25 meter. Ooh. There you go. Early burst. He'll take that because if, even if Raiden loses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Conversion. Oh no! Oh, he misses air dash. It's fine. Hard combo. I was going to say, he bursted early in that round because he's going to have to take two rounds to lose. So even if, it, even if he loses this round, he'll probably have another one by the end of it. Yep. Oh god. Confirm that. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Time to guess. Oh, you lost. Goodbye. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. That was weird. That was kind of off. I thought that was going to confirm to just like a win for him, but I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Slayer, are you drunk? Oh, let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. No clean hit, but he got the damage. Oh, no. He 2 would in the gun play. Wait. Yeah. Gun frame starter. Backdash timing is a little bit off, but he's going to make it up this way. He's got the meter. No, Hello? thank you. No, thank you. Hello? No, thank you. Hello? I can't. I actually can't believe that worked. Which also, Me- that means, by the way, that that, that hitbox extends to the floor. Yeah. For whatever reason, honestly. For whatever reason. That's what we talk about, like, uh, uh, egregious, egregious, uh, Goings on in the game, things like yeah. that. It's like, like, why is this? Why is this red all the way down here? Because, yeah, he just accepts it. Ooh, BC showing off a little bit. I like it. Oh, too far. Gun flame, gun flame. Oh, he tried to do dash and wild throw. Overhead. 
I didn't block Watch it, you got hit high. Good throw. throw. Mm. Yeah, once you see the once you see the air dash in the air, that's like the easiest reason for Slayer to just do four straight damage. You can't get you can't reach a set box from that angle. Oh. Oh. I be... Wow, that was a counter hit. Yeah, I was surprised too, but. Huh. Ugh. Is he gonna spend meter? There it is. Oh, yeah. Is there anything that makes you feel more like a moron than just getting dandy step raw pile by He he kind of exploded there. Oh. Kind of got evaporated. Alright, ah. from VR. Ooh, oh, let's go. Oh. Yo, Raiden confirms. Got this to over. And the knockdown. Command Very oh, command troll. Hey, right stamp. The classic. Oh no, oh, thank you. He might have been able to kill if he spent meter on that. Oh no, he's about to lose. He's uh, about to uh, lose. Uh, uh, uh. She tried to reset like a crazy person. You know how much meter he has? Oh my <laughs> What a monster. Raiden had that cocked and ready for him. He knew what he was gonna do. Oh, the DP after the burst. Oh, 6 Oh, no! Ah. I'll be honest with you. Soul doesn't need any more CT than he already has. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 6k. Too far. Gets the throw reset. Time to guess. Chase, Ooh. you're dead. Oh, you're not dead. Last chance. Uses right stamp. 5p anti air. <laughs> That's like the sixth instance of CTE I've heard on commentary in like the last week. <laughs> like, I've heard more about CTE. <laughs> You tell me the jump H isn't just CTE the move? Yeah, it is actually. Cause cause of the way it bounces you when it counter hits yeah, you. It's, ah. it's like, oh god, oh what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh god. Oh god. How is how is Malice going to choose his own song and then end up just picking the slayer <laughs> music stuff? That that's he could have he could have left it at stage, it would have been fine. That is a uh, it's commitment to the gimmick. I like it. Oh, 2D. Air dash? Oh, I just got the air dash. It's a hard combo. Time to guess. Uh, uh, uh. Oi, that's a that's a really bad burst. But he doesn't suffer too much from it, because he keeps malice in the corner. Yeah, he needs to make sure that he makes the most out of the whole round then. I mean he's got a good life lead, but it's Slayer. Yeah. Oh no! <gasps> You're so lucky. You're so lucky you're still alive. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, round two. <laughs> <laughs> that was rude. Oh, he's just uh, running oh, at man. him. Cranking out Volcanic Viper doing hit stun. And wall throw. Oh no! Soul players, I can't believe that combo. I guess. Damn. Wake up, 2K. Oh, force break, dandy. Crosswise heal gets blocked. Oh god. Puts he's too deep. We. Uh oh. Combo off that. More importantly, gets him out of the corner versus Soul. <gasps> was that on purpose? I don't know. It looked I... like it was kind of on purpose. Cross up. Oh, just wake up, close slash. No anti-air rip! Hey. I need more IK activation pop-offs after close rounds. I need that. Yeah. God, they are, they are swinging. Yeah, that, just that swinging. round started with Dandy Step and Riot Stamp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what I was talking about when it's like, you can, you can see how, over the years that, round start riot stomp, people would have been like, oh that move's broken, how do you stop this move, blah blah blah, you know, everybody up in yeah, arms. Yeah. Now people are like, oh you did a riot stomp, give me 50% of your life, thank you.
And it's like, oh, I see. Oh, yes, okay. Like, most people nowadays are aware that if you, they see the start of a ride stomp, they're just like, I, I will now remove 50% of your life, and you will now think about how to use this properly in the future. Thank you. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about watching Slayer players, Slayer and Soul players play, where it's just like, you're waiting for a big hit, and then it's like, aha, they're dead. There's something about a Slayer player or a Soul player that just sees 50% meter and just brain just turns off. <laughs> it just turns into like a roulette sound. It's just like, because at that point, anything can possibly happen. <laughs> just like the world is their oyster. Like as soon as they see 50% meter, like you're just going to get, you get run up DPRC for like legitimately no reason other than to tell this other person that this is my space. <laughs> That's it. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> oh man, I don't remember the last time I saw Dandy Steps at like legit beta move either. That was sick. Cause he did Danny Step. Cause I, I guess he was baiting DP, probably. Right. He was baiting he was baiting like a hard wake up option. But like, like it doesn't that lose to Grand Viper? It loses to a lot of things, but at the same time, it beats that. <laughs> oh God! Murdered him. Eating a Murder. pile bunker to the <laughs> eating a pile bunker to the mail. Mm. 